Hey guys, assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you're all well. I, I am back with another um, cooking tutorial for you guys and this time I am cooking a Bangladeshi fish curry. So these are the ingredients I'm using. Here we have washed and cut up clean uh, fish. This is a Bangladeshi fish called Mirka and um, I've got about two pieces here, two medium pieces and I've cut them up into like small pieces as you can see. You can also use any other type of Bangladeshi fish like roe or gual or whatever or any kind of big fish basically. So I'm also going to cook with a Bangladeshi vegetable which is called ori and in English um, it's beans basically. I've got two medium onions cut up I've got a few pieces of garlic cut up, I've got some chilies cut up. Here are the spices. I have one tablespoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder which is zira and one tablespoon of coriander powder and here is the chili powder, the morsor mor powder <laughs> I call it and that is a little bit more than a tablespoon I've also got some coriander, I'm not going to use all of this, I've just chopped it up anyways I've got my salt and I've got some oil so now let's start So I've got the fire on guys and I'm going to add some oil, I'm not going to add a lot of oil because I want this to be a kind of like a healthy curry because you know too much oil is not good. Okay. I'm going to wait for the oil to heat up a little bit and then I'm going to put in the garlic. So my oil has heated up and I'm going to add the garlic to it. The reason why I like to add the garlic um, whilst the oil is hot is because um, it roasts the garlic nicely and the aroma comes out of the garlic if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to add the onions guys. Let's add the salt. I'm going to add about one and a half teaspoons of salt as you can see and what we're going to do is wait for the onion to turn a golden brown colour as you can see the onion and the garlic mix has become uh, light brown so what I'm going to do is add some hot water from the kettle It, and then I'm going to cover it up and leave it on for about 5-10 minutes and um, keep checking so that it doesn't burn so what I'm going to do now guys is mash it mash the um, onions and garlic with my potato masher and basically I want it to be like a really really um, nice paste so then I can add my spices to it. I'm going to add all the spices to the um, onions and garlics. Give it a really good mix. I'm also going to add my secret ingredient guys, some paprika. Not much, only a little bit. And because it looks a bit dry, I'm going to add a little bit of water because I don't want the spices to burn. Basically what you want to do is cook the spices really well 
And the way you would know that the spices are cooked is when the oil separates and sits at the top. So what I'm going to do, whilst the spices are cooking, I'm going to add the uri, the beans, to the um, curry. It's going to cook the uri and the spices together. Oh, I love that colour, look at that colour guys, it's so beautiful. I'm going to leave that for about five to seven minutes on low heat. What I'm going to do here is add some boiling water, lots of boiling water, about two cups. Put it on high gas and I just want the, uh, what do you call it, beans to be fully done. So it's, you know when it's done, when you pinch it and it just breaks. So right now it's not breaking so I'm just going to let that boil really well and cover it up. I think the uri is fully done now. I'm just going to quickly test it, pinching it. And when, once you pinch it, if it breaks like that, then yep, it's done. What I'm going to do now is add the lovely fish, milka fish. So this is already cut and washed like I said. So I'm going to add it really, really nicely to the curry. Oh my God, this is going to taste so good. I can already tell. The colour of the curry is, oh my days, so beautiful. Feeling very proud of myself right now. <laughs> Let me wash my hands, guys. I wash my hands. And I'm just going to um, stir the curry really well. Make sure all the pieces are nicely coated with the sauce. And then I put the gas up high what I'm gonna do is put the lid on and leave it for a bit for just a few minutes so the fish is nicely cooked so guys let's clean up whilst the fish is being nicely cooked might as well tidy up whilst all of that is being done right What I'm going to do now guys is add the shira, which is the sauce, make it very very saucy. As you can see, see what it looks like. Just want it to sit on top of the fish, put it on high high heat and it's already boiled water so you don't have to worry about that too much. I'm going to add the chilies, cut up chilies. At this stage, you don't want to put your wooden spoon inside because you might break up the fishes because they're gone really nice and soft now. So the way you stir it is by shaking it about like this, the handy. Yes. It smells really nice, guys. I can't wait to dig in. Guys, I'm going to add some of the coriander now. Not all of it. Just like two handfuls because I'm extra and I like adding loads of coriander baklafata is my favorite and then you do the shake and shake like so what i'm 
I'm going to do is put the uh, gas down completely and cover it up. And this is a very important part of the cooking, is the last bit where you just leave it to simmer. Hey guys, my fish curry is finished, alhamdulillah. And uh, what I'm going to do now is taste some with you guys. Look at that, it's just such a beautiful colour and it's just the perfect um, consistency with the shida. Here's the fish, oh my days. Be careful guys, there's like loads of bones in Bangladeshi fishies. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice. Actually, you know what? That came out so amazing, mashallah. That was on point. It's gonna be really nice. I'm just gonna enjoy this so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this cooking tutorial. Make sure you comment, like, share, all of that lovely stuff. Subscribe to my channel.